Good morning, everyone. Right, I'm just going to put together the Guinevere box for the outer sleeve. So you, in your kit, you get two pieces like this, which is the two sides. So you get an end piece, and then you get the two sided bits. That was the front and back, was it? Yes. That's front and, that's front and top. Yeah. Or back and top. And that, these are the side pieces. You get two of those and one of those. So it's quite a simple thing to do. So what I'm going to do... If is... this video is wobbling, it's because I haven't been to the gym like Penny Mordant to lift a sword for hours. She was the lady <laughs> that held the sword at the, um, the coronation. coronation. So um, I'm holding it by hand, but um, my, my hands are resting on my chest. So it's quite, it's quite not so bad. We'll, we'll just go up and down then, won't we? <laughs> So, now it's shaking. <laughs> right, okay. What are you doing there, Kate? Okay, I'm, I'm just doing a dry run. So if you just put it together, that is how you would put it together before you stick it. So you, oh, so a dry run is when you don't stick it with glue. No, you're you just, just, you just testing it, everything fits. It fits everything together and that just fits on top. It might just collapse on me because I've not actually got any support on it. And then that will fit on the top there. I won't put it any further because I think the whole lot will collapse. So that's basically your box. That's Perfect. how you put it together. So that's what I shall do now. So would you paint this before you put it together, Kay? On the inside, yes. To be honest, I would, I would paint the inside first because it's but a lot easier. would you paint the little tab slotty bits or no. not? Um, it depends. If I'm just using Art Pebio marker, mm -hmm. because that dries really quickly and doesn't overwet it. So you get a nice, nice contact like that. Quite frankly, I wouldn't. I would go over the whole lot. Okay. If I was using acrylic paint, and I would use it fairly dry as well, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't overwet it, I would probably try and avoid the, um, the uh, tabs, tabs. Because they can swell and yeah. it will affect the box going together. Yeah. But if you do do that, dry it, and you have issues, do a dry run. If, it is a, if you have issues, just, just sand it. As yeah. as that. that's, that's the easiest way of doing it. But yeah, if you want to do the inside, the inside is easier just to use that. Okay. But I'm, as I, I'm just going to show you how to put it together. So, uh, I'm using our book binding glue, but you can use a PVA. Do you want any pro any orange tape to make it a bit easier? Yeah, I've done it. I've got oh, it. you've done. I've oh, got, I've I've shut up. It. Well, you can see over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah the magazine. I'm micromanaging again. Oh, I don't know what you mean, Kay. <laughs> she caused you a free bag yesterday, right? I don't know why. What she was on yesterday. <laughs> I was very tired yesterday. I don't know mm, why. That'd be, but that'd be it then. Okay. Anyway, so I tend to put, just put glue on the inny bits. As you can see, mm -hmm. and then this is the most tedious part: is putting the glue on all of it. Actually, my other little trick. Oh yes, this is so clever. If you've got two pieces exactly the same like these, and you put them together, and you can just put your glue on both bits and the glue both bits together at the same time. And the trick is, you don't want too much glue. No, do you? So just a little bit. So you can either just a tiny bit like I've done, or you can do the woodpecker technique, these little dotty bits, or use something with a less, less of a bigger nozzle. This is what I was given, so this is what I'm using. That's our book binding glue you're using, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to say a wood glue or a good PVA. So mm -hmm. then just separate those and they're done. And I could have done it for the top, the top and bottom bits, but anyway, let's go around this one. So I'll say this is the most tedious part. So just put a little bit of glue on here. Okay, so, and then the top one. You see what, you're moving the camera to me, aren't you? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay, then. okay, cool. It's a bit of a wonk, but my arms are getting tired. Oh, well, I'm, 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 moving, I'm moving as fast as I can. No, so no, got, no, it's so fine. It. It's, so it's fine. It. I'm just making sure I have pressed the record button. Yes, please. <laughs> I think I have. <laughs> well, this is more than I did the other day. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I tend to put our um, soft pour tape on here. So this is um, repositionable tape. And I'll just put it on at the bottom. You'll see why in a sec. It just makes life easier squaring everything it's up. It's such an easy way to do this. So, that, that is there, and that goes flat like that. Hold on. Okay. okay. Right, I'm going to move, okay. which I'm going to watch the assembly now. We're having an overhead shot. Oh, oh she's actually standing up, are not you? <laughs> <laughs> you are so rude. <laughs> right, okay, and I'm going to put it together. And put this piece onto like that, and this piece on like that. Oops. So it just slots in like that, and I'm just going to tape and that, and that one like that and then take this one up okay and then i'm just going to do this one together because you might have to move this little tad to wiggle it around get it in place so that's in okay can you see how everything's square yeah hold on i'll go down there okay 
Oh, it's quite easy doing it with this. Okay, I have yeah. no idea what to look like at the end. Okay, and then that. Yeah. So, so I'll now just make sure that that corner yeah. is done. And oops, likewise on this side. So that's nice and done like that. I'll turn it around and I just put the let's pull that in. And this is the um, sleeve box that holds the Guinevere album yeah. designed by Paul Ford. Okay, and then Paul Langford, that. sorry. And then we'll put that on top. And that just clicks in, doesn't it? It? Is, it is, yeah, we've got that point, it just clicks in. Okay, so just a bit more tape, just to hold everything in place. I probably just need one on each side now. It's just like an extra pair of hands, isn't it? Yeah, I just, and I'll leave that on there while it dries. So you can use, get rid of any excess glue with your fingers or with a brush. How long would you leave the glue to set, Kay? It depends on the glue. This one, a couple of hours, possibly, yeah. um, overnight, ideally. If you've got one that's a really quick drying one, you can just, uh, about an hour or so, mm -hmm. just make sure that's right. Okay, and that is your box done.